Do you ever feel like self-doubt is stopping you? Imagine having confidence that is so strong that no problem, setback, or fear can shake it. In this video, we'll look at the famous teachings of Miyamoto Musashi and break down each step to building unbreakable self-confidence. Whether it's getting rid of your inner doubts, seeing failure as a chance to grow, or mastering your strengths, this journey will give you the strength to face anything with unwavering self-belief. Step 1. Challenge Negative Self-Talk Negative self-talk is the voice inside your head that criticizes, doubts, and undermines your abilities. It usually comes up when you're under a lot of stress or going through something new. It can look like thoughts like, I'm not good enough, I'll fail, or others are better than me. Miyamoto Musashi a famous swordsman and philosopher, stressed the importance of having clear thinking and control over your mind. He believed that in order to beat other people or life's challenges, you must first defeat your inner self. His teachings help us develop a mind that is disciplined against self-doubt and negativity, which is the basis of real confidence. If you want to change your negative thoughts, you should first become aware of your internal dialogue. When you hear a negative statement about yourself, stop and ask yourself where it's coming from. Is it based on facts, or is it a conditioned response to fear or past experiences? Becoming aware of the tone and content of your self-talk is the first step in reclaiming control over your thoughts. Musashi famously said, think lightly of yourself and deeply of the world. This means that negative thoughts about yourself take your attention away from what really matters. By treating your thoughts lightly, you learn to let go of unnecessary self-criticism and instead ground yourself in a more balanced view of reality. In order to change your negative thoughts, you must first become aware of them. For example, if you think, I can't do this, ask yourself, what proof do I have for this? You'll often find that these thoughts aren't true or are based on a few isolated events rather than a general truth. By analyzing and questioning these thoughts, you start to become stronger. Musashi would probably tell you to perceive that which cannot be seen with the eye, which means to see past your fears and insecurities to see your potential. To boost your confidence, you need to stop talking badly to yourself and start thinking positively. Instead of seeing setbacks as failures, try seeing them as chances to learn. If you're not sure about a skill, Think about what you've done well in the past and how you've grown. Use truthful affirmations like, I've overcome challenges before and I can handle this, or I am capable and learning every day. This will not only change your mindset, but it will also start to change your habitual patterns of doubt. Musashi's teachings encourage adaptability and the ability to see yourself as a work in progress, not stuck in one story. Over time, thinking positive, Purposeful thoughts will turn your self-doubt into self-confidence. As you fight negativity, you create a more positive, empowering internal dialogue that helps you reach your goals. Musashi's way was based on resilience, self-discipline, and mental clarity, all of which come from controlling your thoughts. When you quiet your inner critic and develop a supportive, balanced perspective, you build the mental foundation for true, unwavering self-confidence. Step 2. Step out of your comfort zone. Miyamoto Musashi, a famous swordsman, thought that the only way to build unwavering self-confidence was to go beyond what feels safe and familiar. He took on challenges head-on, never settling for ease or the unknown. His way of the warrior shows us that real confidence comes from having the courage to face discomfort and uncertainty. It might be scary to leave your comfort zone, but you need to do it if you want to build your confidence. The comfort zone is a place of routine and psychological space where we feel safe because we are rarely tested. Staying in this zone stops us from growing because our confidence can't grow if we only do things that feel easy or familiar. But by regularly challenging yourself with new experiences, you build your resilience and what once seemed scary turns into a source of strength over time. Musashi taught that doubt and fear are things we put up around ourselves. He reportedly said, nothing outside of yourself can ever help you get better, stronger, richer, faster, 
or smarter. Everything is inside. There is everything. Seek nothing outside of yourself. This wise advice tells us to face the limits we set for ourselves and go beyond them, believing that we already have what it takes to achieve. To slowly leave your comfort zone, you need to find places in your life where you can introduce some discomfort, like trying a new skill, speaking up in social situations, or taking on a project that seems hard. Encouraging discomfort can lead to unexpected benefits, like learning new skills, meeting new people, or opening doors to opportunities you hadn't thought of. Getting out of your comfort zone isn't something you do once. It's something you do over and over again until you face your fears and realize your strengths. Like Musashi, you can build unwavering self-confidence by always looking for chances that push you beyond what feels safe. Step 3. Build competence through skill development. Getting better at things through skill development is a key part of having unwavering self-confidence. Musashi's teachings stress that self-confidence is not something you are born with, but something you earn through hard work and practice. To start your journey, think about what you want to get better at, like public speaking, learning a new language, or mastering an instrument. Pick skills that really interest you, because that will fuel your desire to get better. Make a structured plan for your growth by breaking your goals down into manageable steps and setting clear, attainable targets. Each small success will boost your confidence and help you prepare for bigger challenges in the future. Musashi stressed the importance of practice and repetition, saying that if you want to control others, you must first control yourself. Make time each day or week to practice the skill you want to improve which will give you a sense of accomplishment that will give you more confidence. Adopt the mindset of a lifelong learner, just like Musashi did. Be open to feedback and willing to change how you do things. Look for a mentor or join a community of people who share your interests to help and inspire you to push your limits and keep getting better. When you're having a hard time or doubting yourself, remember Musashi's advice to be resilient and see setbacks as part of the learning process. Figure out what went wrong, learn from it, and use what you learned on your next try. This way of thinking makes your skills stronger and gives you more confidence that you can get through tough situations. Celebrating your progress, no matter how small, is a great way to boost your confidence. Musashi knew how important it was to think about himself and his growth, and he did it often. By committing to learning, taking on challenges and celebrating your progress, you build a sense of mastery that gives you the confidence to face any situation. Step 4. Embrace failure as part of growth. Accepting failure is an important part of building self-confidence. Miyamoto Musashi, a famous swordsman and philosopher, lived his life by this principle, seeing failure as chances to learn rather than final judgments of one's abilities. His philosophy was based on the idea that failure doesn't make one less valuable, but instead shows them where they can improve. In his famous book, The Book of Five Rings, he talks about how important it is to think about oneself and learn from one's experiences. When you experience a setback, it's important to have a growth mindset and see challenges as chances to improve. This way of thinking helps you see failure as a necessary part of the learning process and guide your future actions. Thinking about what went wrong, what caused the outcome, and what can be done differently next time helps you learn, build problem-solving skills, and gain confidence in your ability to handle similar situations in the future. Accepting that you are not perfect and that setbacks are a normal part of life makes you more relatable to others. Being more authentic can lead to deeper connections and support from the people around you making it easier for you to share your experiences and learn from each other. In real life, you could keep a failure journal to write down your setbacks, think about how you felt, and pull out the lessons you learned from each one. Over time, you will see a pattern of growth and resilience emerging from these experiences, which will serve as a powerful reminder of your ability to get through tough times. When you accept failure as a part of growth, you not only build unwavering self-confidence, but you also make your life stronger and smarter. Remember Musashi's advice. Learn from every experience, grow from every setback, 
and make a path of continuous improvement. This path of accepting failure will give you the strength to face new challenges with courage and unwavering confidence. Step 5. Create a routine of self-care. Having strong self-confidence isn't just about being mentally tough or getting better at something. It also depends on taking care of your physical and emotional health. Miyamoto Musashi knew how important it was to keep your life in balance, which is a concept that is deeply connected to self-care. His life as a master swordsman wasn't just about fighting. It was about developing strength, discipline, and well-being in a whole way. In today's world, making self-care a regular part of your life is essential for building confidence. Self-care includes a variety of actions that are good for your body, mind, and spirit. It's selecting actions that put your health first. When you regularly practice self-care, you tell yourself, I deserve care and attention. This builds your confidence, and when you're mentally and physically healthy, you're better able to deal with problems and reach your goals. To make a good self-care routine, you should first figure out what areas of your life need work. For example, if you have trouble dealing with stress, practicing mindfulness through yoga or meditation could help. Another important part of self-care is physical activity. Regular exercise not only improves your health, but it also releases endorphins that make you feel better and help fight anxiety. Musashi was famous for his strict training and physical conditioning because he knew that a strong body supports a strong mind. Self-care isn't complete without good nutrition. Eating healthy foods gives you energy, improves your mood, and helps your brain work better. Plan meals that are well-balanced, including lots of fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. Staying away from junk food and sugary snacks can make your mind and emotions much clearer, which can make you feel more confident. Also, don't forget to take care of your emotions. Doing things that make you happy and fulfilled can help refresh your spirit. Whether it's a hobby, spending time with loved ones, or reading a good book, these moments of joy can recharge your emotional batteries and boost your confidence. Musashi often sought solitude to grow and reflect. Try setting aside time each day to think about your feelings and thoughts. Setting up a self-care routine takes discipline and consistency, just like Musashi was committed to his training. Begin by giving yourself a few minutes a day to do things that make you feel good. As these habits become second nature, slowly add more time to your self-care routine. Remember that the goal is not perfection, but progress. Focusing on self-care will boost your confidence, just like Musashi sharpened his sword to make it more useful. Regular self-care will also sharpen your mind and spirit. By recognizing your needs and giving yourself time to recharge, you build a strong base for your confidence that can grow. As you continue on this path, you'll discover that self-care not only improves your health, but also gives you the strength to face life's challenges with unwavering confidence. Step 6. Visualize Success Visualization is a powerful way to boost confidence, and Musashi probably used it before his famous duels. He would carefully prepare his mind for each battle by imagining what could happen and how it would turn out. Visualization prepares us mentally and emotionally, making us feel what it's like to be successful before it happens. Musashi's practice of mental preparation shows how important it is to imagine success to boost confidence. Every day, take a few minutes to picture yourself succeeding. Picture yourself reaching your goals, feeling confident, and handling challenges with grace. Think about the details, like how you'll look and feel and how people will react. This mental rehearsal clears your mind of doubts and sets you up to see opportunities for success. Visualization works because your brain often can't tell the difference between real and imagined experiences, which makes you feel capable and ready for real life situations. Musashi knew that mental preparation was the key to physical performance. Before taking on a challenge, he strengthened his confidence and clarity by picturing victory. In the same way, picturing success makes you more likely to approach situations with calmness and certainty. Visualization bridges the gap between desire and action, reinforcing your belief that you can reach your goals. The act of picturing success makes your resolve stronger, 
making it easier to act with unwavering confidence in real life. Step 7. Stay true to your values. A warrior and philosopher, Musashi had a strong commitment to his values, which helped him make decisions along the way. He knew that confidence isn't just about external accomplishments or praise, but also about being true to who we are and what we stand for. When we stay true to our values, we build a strong base for our self-confidence to grow. To build unwavering self-confidence, you must first figure out what your core values are. These could be things like honesty, integrity, and respect, or they could be things like ambition, creativity, or compassion. Think back to times when you were really proud of yourself. Those times probably aligned closely with your values. When your actions match your beliefs, you create a sense of inner harmony that boosts your self-esteem. Miyamoto Musashi believed in living a purposeful life and stressing the importance of a personal code of conduct. One of his famous quotes is, when you attain your goal, do not let yourself be influenced by the praise of others. This is a good reminder that your sense of self-worth should not depend on outside approval or the opinions of others. By staying true to your values, you build self-reliance and internal approval that boosts your confidence. You learn to trust yourself and your judgment no matter what other people say. Also, sticking to your values makes you stronger when things get tough. Life is full of problems, and when we face them, we might want to give up our values to fit in or avoid conflict. But people who stay true to their beliefs find it easier to face problems with confidence. Musashi's life is an example of this. He faced many opponents and problems, but his unwavering commitment to his values gave him the strength to keep going. In real life, staying true to your values means regularly evaluating your decisions and choices. Do they line up with your principles? If they don't, take some time to think about why they don't. Also, reevaluate your goals and strategies to make sure they are in line with your core values. This will boost your confidence and help you grow as a person. Having people around you who share your values can also help you stay committed. Joining a community that supports, motivates, and encourages your values creates an atmosphere of support, motivation, and encouragement. This connection creates a sense of belonging, which is important for keeping your faith in your values. Staying true to your values is one of the most important things you can do to build unshakable self-confidence. As you go through life's challenges, remember Mizashi's advice and work on building a strong sense of self that doesn't give in to outside pressures. By making sure your actions are in line with your beliefs, you not only give yourself power, but you also encourage others to do the same. Confidence that comes from being true to yourself is truly unshakable giving you the strength to face the world with a strong heart and spirit. Embrace your values, live authentically, and watch your self-confidence soar.